Bonsoir, euh, bonsoir à toutes et à tous. Good evening, everyone, for our second Frogans Technology Conference number one. We're happy to receive you once again tonight. Let me point out that the conference is broadcast right now, live, streamed on the internet. And you can watch the video live if you go to conference.forgans.org with an HTTPS in front. And thanks to the interpreters here today at the back of the room. Good evening. Good evening, says the interpreter. The conference is interpreted into English and French, depending on the language you use. And tonight we'll have Stefan Vandenberg, ambassador of the Frogans project, who will begin in English, I believe. Let me remind you, as stated on the wonderful panel to my right and therefore to your left, those of you in the room, let me point out that this is conference number one for Frogan's technology. If you give me two or three minutes, I may speak about several topics we covered last night. And very briefly, I can say a few words about each topic we'll be covering. I'm saying that for the persons connected tonight and who were not there at the first, for the first evening event, and also for those present and who were not there last night but who are here tonight. On your, on the back of your badge, you have the various topics covered at bo on both days of the conference for, for Fogan's Technology Conference number one. Let me repeat, let me say a few words about what we covered last night. One obvious point, what is the Fogan's technology? We tried to answer that with Alexei Thomas, who is here, co-founder of the technology with myself some years ago now. And he'll be speaking again tonight. We can give you more specifications on Fogan's site and the Fogan's technology. Yesterday we said the context to point out that the Fogan's technology is an internet layer and we situated the Fogan's technology on the, in the internet. What's essential is that it's often complex when you speak about the problem, how to, to know how to situate it, how to position it with respect to the web and other internet layers to enable the exchange of data, pub publishing, and communication. Another particularity that we covered last night was pointing out that the legal structure in charge of developing Frogan's technology is OP3FT, the Organization for the Promotion, Protection, and the Progress of Frogan's Technology. And this legal structure is a French endowment fund, a fonds de dotation. It's a sort of light endowment fund, enabling the OP3FT to carry out its mission for the public, and it's a non-profit making organization. I said that yesterday. We're not here to launch a product. We are sharing with you the launch on the internet of a, a pro project for a new layer, secure and simple. And we're starting with the topics that we presented for the two evenings for this first conference, after which we dealt with how the OP3FT conducts the development of the Forgans Fog technology. There's a lot of technology in Forgans, and we wanted to share it with you on the internet and in the room. We wanted to share with our technical teams how it is developed because there are issues with security and universality. And these are issues that interest everyone in the world of publishing on the internet. After which, we dealt with 
the legal charters for creating a legal environment that totally protects internet users. And we had uh, Thomas, one of our in-house lawyers, who explained how OP3FT wanted to let everyone do their business and to live well on the internet. But there were security barriers there, quite simply, so everyone can show respect for each other, thanks to uh, our experience with the web for 25 years now. And then the last presentation on OP3FT among the organizations participating in the development of the Internet. Sébastien Bachelet, who is kind enough to be with us here tonight, is a member of the ICANN Board of Directors and member of the AFNIC Board of Directors. He presented his vision of things in connection with governance and the different ways we can contemplate internet governance, after which we try to say that Frogans is an entity that also takes part in developing the internet, and how OP3FT is positioned amongst the organizations such as ICANN, IETF, Internet Engineering, and W3Cs and the like. We ended up with Jerome, who came to explain um, the feedback from his assignment in China, where he met with organizations for the development of Internet in China to see how organizations like ICANN or W3C were established or re-established after making an attempt in previous years. Now, we make a technology to serve everyone on the Internet, and obviously parts of the world, such as China, and this was confirmed yesterday, they account for over one out of five Internet users, and we want. We're determined to be as close as possible to users to understand their needs and to develop technologies that are part of everyone's technology, everyone's culture, and not just a French or Western vision in terms of technology development. Yesterday, therefore, it was very legal in terms of the setting. And I'd like to thank those who had the patience and made an effort to follow us on that journey. Tonight, we'll be focusing more on applications with respect to Fogan's technology and the opportunities it represents in the ecosystem. We have different speakers whom I'll be presenting very briefly this time. We have the same master of ceremonies who did a fine job last night, Jean-Manuel Rodriguez, and he agreed to continue to do so tonight. So he wasn't discouraged. Congratulations. A round of applause. Some of you know him already. So tonight, and I'll stop after this so that we can begin our presentation. Stefan Vandenberg will be speaking about the reasons why Fogan's technology is important. And then Alexi Tamas, I already mentioned his name earlier, will speak to us about creating and publishing a Fogan's site on the internet and join up the ecosystem. And I'm sure that you'll be very much interested in that, if I'm not mistaken. We have Whale, who will be presenting the Frogans networks and addresses as new internet identifiers, followed by Julie, and with the help of AFNIC, uh, Mathieu Vail, CEO of AFNIC, will is here in the room as well, and will also be speaking. They'll be speaking about Dot Frogans, a new extension of Dot Frogans that I can delegate it to OP3 of Teen April. So, he's our technical support for this project, and they will tell us about what they do. After which, we will wrap up. Well, before the uh, our conclusion, which I will be presenting, will end up with the next steps of project rollout with the registration period that is on the way for trademark holders. Romuald Huon, for months now, has been meeting the heads of brands 
service providers and people from the domain name world and intellectual property. And he will be speaking about the priority registration period, which is in progress. I hope you'll have a wonderful evening. Let me point out that there's a buffet. And since there's no specific break apart from the different speakers one after the other, do not hesitate to have a refreshment or a drink at your convenience. No one will be shocked by that during the conference. I will now call on Jean-Emmanuel, who will be the MC for tonight.